Hi, I'm Daniel Zengel with PRP Labs here with Don Lipscomb, and we're going to be talking about the use of platelet-rich plasma for lower back pain. Mm -hmm. And Don's going to be talking about a really interesting study that used PRP injections to help patients with chronic lower back pain that was associated with degenerative disc disease. And one thing I found really interesting about this study, aside from the fact that it was well done and they did a great job on reporting a lot of the parameters, is that they were not doing an interdiscal injection, which is sort of like a common uh, topic and sort of trending thing in the research with PRP. They actually injected PRP into the paraspinal muscles, specifically the multifidus uh, muscle, or I'm sorry, the, the lumbar the multifidus. Lumbar one, yeah. Thank it, you. It props up the spine. That's what it does. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. so, so this is generally just safer, right? If you're going to do an interdiscal injection, it's just really a risky procedure. Um, and the, I think the argument can be made that improving the muscle, improving stability would have a better long-term effect. Mm -hmm. uh, Don, can you tell us a, a bit about this study? Sure, so um, actually the study recruited quite a few patients for it. Um, so there are 115 patients and all of them had had chronic non-specific back pain. Um, so the authors assessed the patients, they did uh, sort of a pain questionnaire, questionnaire and then they also took MRIs to see how bad uh, the muscle atrophy was. And so this, this is actually very common with age, especially if, as your posture kind of decreases, mm -hmm. like you can almost feel it in your back. You know, <laughs> like, <laughs> but <laughs> Reminding me. <laughs> um, so the authors uh, assessed the patients by MRI, um, and then also they had to fill out this questionnaire. Um, so a total of 104 patients completed the trial um, but basically, anyway, the authors gave them, I think it was a single injection of PRP. Well, How many it was, it was, it was it? weekly for, for six, six weeks. weeks and, yeah. and the way it worked is they did it on each side. So yeah. it, it was mm -hmm. like a single treatment, but it yeah. was, they would uh, inject, I think, something like three milliliters yeah. of PRP on each mm -hmm. side of the uh, you lower make sure it's even. <laughs> lumbar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, anyway, so at, a, at the 12 month follow up, so. Uh, 65 out of 74 patients um, reported reduced back pain. And so this was the number of patients that had responded positively to mm -hmm. the questionnaire, like statistically significant. Right. So um, of these patients, they actually did another round of MRIs mm -hmm. because I guess they were figuring if, if like the other ones were still reporting extreme back pain, maybe it didn't work for them. Right. But this is still a statistically significant result. I mean, 74 right. out of 100. Well, and MRIs are expensive. Like, so yes, if, that's, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but 74 out of 104, 104 only completed the trial. Right. Um, uh, so, but the cross-sectional area of the muscle under the MRI mm. had actually um, increased. And these uh, fat deposits, it's, it's like a degenerative fat tissue. Right, that's associated that, with exactly. atrophied muscles. Mm -hmm. And so that had decreased. Mm -hmm. So that meant that um, basically the muscle was reforming in those areas where the fat wow. had been. So Amazing. So these people didn't start a new exercise regimen. No. They didn't, uh, you know, do any kind of special thing aside from just get PRP injections. And yeah. then they're seeing a muscle reverse atrophy mm -hmm. and actually regrow just from PRP exactly. injections. Exactly. And I have to say, too, that um, I think that the way that the authors uh, went about uh, designing uh, the experiment was really good. Yeah. They, it, it's a, it was a leukocyte rich PRP. Mm -hmm. And so what that did was it helped like clean out some of uh, that fatty debris. The and, leukocytes. Yeah. Okay. So, so leukocytes can be pro and anti-inflammatory. They right. can send out chemical signals that say, hey, hey guys, come in, help us out, clean this out. Right. Or they can say, stay put, you know. Right. And um, so I think that this really made a difference. And also, um, I don't, I, I think they told them don't take any NSAIDs. They so, did, yeah. They said yeah. no NSAIDs yeah. for uh, a week, right? A, I, I think that's days. usually what they do yeah. is yeah, it's a week before, a week after. And as we've already done a video on this, mm -hmm. we talked about this before, that has a huge impact oh, on the does. efficacy of PRP. So it just goes to say these researchers knew mm -hmm. what they were doing. Yeah, it actually will inhibit the platelets from de degranulating. Right. So. And that's, but I guess that's it didn't make that much of a difference here, though, because I think they activated. The PRP oh, that's right. First. They yeah. did add calcium chloride. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting concept yeah. as to whether NSAIDs would have as large of an impact yeah. if you were activating the PRP. But or for long-term effect, it would, right? Because most of the growth factors exit the the granules after ninety 
I think 95 percent after mm -hmm. like one hour when you've activated yeah it. and then some 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 remain steady like over time yeah but it could inhibit like sort of a, a cascading effect you know yeah either so. way the only research we have indicates you should not be taking these yes, yes. Uh, NSAIDs better safe than sorry exactly. and maybe I mean how would you know too if it's working if it's yeah a, it, but also, so there's there's serotonin present in the granules too. Mm -hmm. So the patients reported that they had less pain even after the first injection. Right. And so the serotonin serves as a as a like a natural pain reliever that your body produces. Yeah. So. And how great for a provider to be able to offer this PRP therapy, which is safe. Uh, gets an immediate pain relief for mm -hmm. these patients, which is what every patient wants is immediate pain relief. And then at a 24 month follow up in this study, we're still seeing statistically significant imp exactly. reduction in pain. No, no, none of them had reversed. The condition had not reversed at any of them, which is probably the most important thing. Yeah. You know, so I mean, because hopefully if you rebuild up the muscles, mm -hmm. then it will relieve pressure off those discs. Right. That's what they were, that was their idea. Absolutely. Yeah. And it looks like it worked. I think so too. All right. Well, thanks again, Don. Uh, we got some more videos coming up, so stick around and we'll be right back.